Hi, I'm the Calculus Professor and today we'll be talking about areas between curves. In problem number 15, we'd like to find the area of the region bounded by y equals sine of x, y equals cosine of x, and the x-axis between x equals 0 and x equals pi over 2. All right, so um, over here, uh, I've drawn these two curves out, and of course this is where x is 0, and this is where x equals pi over 2. And the first thing that I notice about this region is uh, it is a symmetric region, okay? So if I cut it in half, then this side over here is exactly the same as this side over here. And we can use that to our advantage in this problem is instead of trying to break this up and saying, okay, I've got a top function, bottom function, then a different top function, bottom function, I can just say, well, let's just look at one half of this thing and then double the area. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to say, uh, to find the area here, instead of trying to determine both of these areas as two separate integrals, what I'm going to do is I'm going to just calculate the one and double it. So let's say it's 2, because I'm doubling it. The integral from 0 to halfway there would be pi over 4. So from 0 to pi over 4 of the top function, which is sine of x, minus the bottom function, which in this case is 0. So I minus 0, or I'll just leave it as sine of x dx. Okay. So uh, we have 2 times antiderivative of sine is negative cosine of x evaluated from 0 to pi over 4. Now we could plug things in. We still have this 2 on the outside. Uh, if I plug in pi over 4, I get negative cosine of pi over 4. Cosine of pi over 4 is root 2 over 2, so I get minus root 2 over 2 minus, then we plug in 0, and I get minus cosine of 0. Well, cosine of 0 is 1, so I get minus 1. So minus 1 goes in here. At this point, I could multiply through by the 2, and I get minus root 2. And then this is positive 1 times 2, which is plus 2. If you want to write that the other way, that's fine. This is 2 minus root 2. And we have the area enclosed in our region. 